Hi guys, this is uh, the Armatan Carbon Fiber Special Edition 258. Um, that's not what I want to talk about today. What I want to talk about today is these guys here. Those are 2208 1800KV motors, uh, RCX RB. Um, just got these uh, to try them out. Um, they're a little bit more expensive than the uh, 282212 1800 kV RCX motors I use uh, on most of my builds but uh, these ones are labeled as higher quality so I thought well if it's supposed to be higher quality I'd like to try some and see you know what the deal is with the higher quality so when I received the motors the first thing I've noticed is uh, the wires uh, the wires are clearly a, a lot thicker um, you know you can feel the quality uh, just just as soon as you got the motor in your hand you can feel the the, 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 um, the wires are a lot higher quality is a bit they're a bit thicker and uh, the craftsmanship on the motor seems also you know quite quite nicer uh, notice that there's an acrylic uh, spacer between the c-clip and the bearing on the bottom of the motor which is something that's going to make a, the motor run a lot smoother a lot quieter basically it's going to make less noise and then I also know, uh, talking with my RC Mart, that uh, the bearings are also upgraded bearings on this. So they're, they're hot, you know, higher quality bearings uh, that you run on there, which will also run quieter, which I'm, I'm noticing it uh, when flying the quad. The quad runs quieter. And uh, the motors I usually use, they're 39 gram motors, the 282212. These ones, like I said, they're 2208 1800 kV motors and they're 44 grams and what's cool about them is they're capable of running quite a very nice spectrum of different sizes of propellers which is quite nice and I'm, on this building I'm using 7 inch propellers and it's basically a breeze for these motors to run that because they can run up to 9 or 10 inch props I think these motors so with the 7 inch props the, 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 the power I get out of these motors is just outstanding it's staggering how much power they got and even doing aggressive acrobatics basically when I land the quad I touch the motors and they're, they're not even lukewarm they don't heat up you know they're not working too hard for this small quad here so I can tell that these motors will be able to run quad copters you know basically all the way up to you know easily all the way up to 500 millimeter quad uh, for acrobatics uh, you know with ease basically uh, my RC Mart actually got in a bunch of new motors now. Uh, I'm going to be probably posting about them uh, shortly on RC Groups. I think they're worth having a look. Um, look, they're more money a little bit than uh, the motors I usually use. For example, the motors I usually use, they're bang for your bucks, like $8 motors, which as far as I'm concerned, they're awesome for $8 because uh, they're reliable and they've done me very, very well. But for someone who wanted something that's better, runs smoother, uh, longer life for the bearings, um, and more power essentially, uh, these motors are a very good option. And I think that they're about 14 bucks, $14 per motor, and at that price, I mean, I think given the quality you get with them, uh, it's still basically the same idea. It's bang for your bucks. bucks. Uh, it's a very good value for your money, in my opinion, these motors. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a flight demo here. It's been raining uh, constantly here for almost a week. So everything is very wet. Uh, I'm going to take it easy. I don't want to crash the quad in a puddle of water somewhere in the field there and ruin the flight controller because I'm running an Afro Acro from, uh, what is that? Uh, that's, I believe it's a version, a simplified version of the NAS32 NAS uh, called I think it's called the Acro Afro and it's from uh, abusemark.com and uh, that's another thing that I'm really liking about this quadcopter now first I've got the very nice motors on there from RCX and then I've got the Acro Afro flight controller on there which is just it flies amazingly well I spent a bit of time tuning the rates up to my liking on there and it's just incredibly stable incredibly responsive um, this point it's probably up there among my very favorite board out there at the moment 
Uh, I really like the CC3D as well, but I have to say this one here does have advantages over the CC3D, uh, which is it seems like he, for someone who really wants to get into you know uh, heavy-handed programming, you want to be able to do a lot with this board. Uh, it is not uh, running. It's like a multi-wee base board, but it's not running. Uh, you, you can program that using the Arduino software like you would with a normal multi-wee. Uh, these boards are built and assembled in Japan. Uh, so that's another thing that I like personally. I don't really have, uh, you know, I've had really a good experience with parts from my RC Mark that are made in China. Uh, I think the, the RCX brand basically is, is very, very good value for your money and it's been super reliable for me. But I do like the idea of getting a flight controller uh, that is uh, made in Japan for this board here, this specific board. So um, let's have a look how this flies for us today. Hopefully I can keep it in the air and not crash it too soon. You see the power these things got, these motors have, it's amazing. Those, I'll say it again just for the, the, the guys who are watching, those are uh, the 2208 motors um, labeled as high quality motors from myrcmar.com and I'm just trying them now, I'm just loving these things, the sheer power is amazing, check it out. See the, the rates I've got on there from the Acro Afro board are just pretty pretty darn aggressive. It'll pull quintuple, sixtuple flips that thing, no problem now. Touchdown. The recovery with this uh, this flight controller, the Echo Afro, is just outstanding. I'm getting absolutely no oscillation. It's just a, it's just outstanding. There's no other word for it. This is an Acro mode now here, hands free.
and this is in self level mode here just amazing I should land this now. I have a go at a different battery. Battery wasn't actually fresh. Let me put a new battery on there and see what we can do. A bit more flying before the sun goes down.